Hi, Sean from Section.io here, giving you a quick demonstration on how to use Kibana in our Aperture portal to view detailed logs about traffic to your site. Right now, you're looking at the overview page of the Aperture portal for our demonstration application. To bring up Kibana, click on the HTTP log button on the left nav bar. You will see that it will load inside of an iframe, but my preference is to open a new window for a larger work area. I will give you a quick overview of the Kibana workspace. In the top right corner, you will see a time picker button. This allows you to select the time ranges for logs you're interested in. You have the option of using some quick links for commonly used time frames, relative time and absolute time. Please be aware that Section IO currently keeps Kibana logs for seven days. So you will need to factor that in when performing queries with long time ranges. On the top menu, you will see four options. Discover, Visualize, Dashboard, and Settings. Today, we're gonna to focus only on Discover as that's where detailed logs will be visible. I will cover Visualize and Dashboard Components Kibana in a later video. Other components of this workspace include a text box where you can manually enter queries. Then there's a left nav bar panel with a list of fields which you can quickly filter by or add columns to the main viewing area. If this is the first time you run Kibana from your application, you will see that most of the fields will not allow you to filter by, and that's because they're not currently indexed. To index, go to settings, where you'll see your application listed under indices. Then there's a big list of fields, including a column that indicates whether they have been indexed or not. Click the yellow reload field list button, and that will index any fields that can be indexed. This will take a couple of seconds, once that's complete, you can go back to the Discover screen. Now, when you click on a particular field, you will see a plus or minus magnifying glass icon, which will allow you to add or remove it from the search. Each proxy inside the stack will generate one or more log entries, and they can be distinguished by the underscore type field. Common field items such as URI, bytes, status, time taken milliseconds, etc. are logged in every type of log. Proxy specific fields are visible only in logs that have the corresponding type. For example, one of the most common logs that you may be interested in is the edge access log. This is where details of the connecting browser are kept. You will see information such as remote address, geo IP and user agent. If you have a Varnish cache proxy, then the Varnish NCSA log is where you find details about how each request is handled. Here you can see specialized fields such as Varnish handling, where you can see hit, miss, and pass for each request. The other log type of interest is the last proxy access log. Here we record details of every request that has to go to the origin. This is where you would come to find out what your web server has sent to our platform. You can apply filters to the search by using the left nav bar. Select a field, then click the plus or minus magnifying glass. Clicking plus on a value to see only log entries that contain that value, or minus to remove log entries. For example, I can take a look at only edge access logs by clicking the plus magnifying glass icon here, or I can see all logs not including the edge access logs by clicking the negative icon. This is what I've just done. And in a few seconds, you'll see the result will be all logs, not including edge access logs. You can also add field columns to the main viewing area by clicking the add button from the left nav bar. For example, I want to see the type for each request. So I would click add and then perhaps I'll be interested in the byte size of each request. So I can click add here. You can also adjust the order of these columns by clicking the little arrow icons at the top. You can view details for each individual log entry by clicking the down arrow next to that entry. In the detailed view, you will see the same plus and minus magnifying glass icons, which serve the same purpose as the ones on the left hand side nav menu. The small double rectangle icon next to the magnifying glass serves the same function as the add button on the left nav bar. This will add a field as a column. 
For example, let's click the rectangles here and you'll see content type appear as a column. When you have one or more filters selected, they will appear towards the top of the screen underneath the text bar. To enable or disable the filter, simply click the checkbox. You can invert the filter by clicking the negative icon or delete that filter by clicking the rubbish bin. In addition to these filters that can be toggled, you can manually query the logs by using the text box. For example, if I was interested in all log entries that had a status code of 301, I can enter into the text box status colon 301 and then press enter and it will filter by that search criteria. You can use multiple search terms together by using the words and, or, and not. For example, if we're interested in only status 301 served from the origin, I would add onto the end of this search term capital and underscore type last proxy access log. Hit enter to apply the filter and you'll see the result will be only last proxy access logs with a response type of 301. If a field is a numerical value, you can enter a range to broaden your search. As an example, if we were interested in all log entries that had a status code of 300 and greater, but less than 600, I can enter in status colon square bracket 300 to 599, hit enter to apply the filter, and you will see all the log entries that satisfies that search criteria. Some searches in Kubana can be quite expensive to perform depending on the time range you're looking at. To minimize the wait time as you apply each filter to your search, we recommend reducing the time picker duration to 15 minutes, then assemble your search terms, then increasing the time picker to the time range that you desire. This should make your workflow much faster as you don't have to wait unnecessarily for long periods of time between adding each search term. Another tip is that there is a CSV for Kapana plugin available for Chrome. Once that has been installed, you will see a CSV button towards the top right hand of the screen. This is only visible in full screen mode, not in an iframe. If you can't see the CSV button in the full screen mode, refresh the page. To export to CSV, click the button and then you have the option of copying to clipboard or saving to Google Drive. One thing of note. Kibana would only show a maximum of 500 total log entries on this screen. In order to be able to export all 500 log entries to CSV, you will need to continually scroll to the bottom of the screen until all 500 are in view. And this concludes our demo. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Go to community.section.io and lodge your questions there. Thank you for watching.